Welcome back everybody, Andre with Eagle Express and today we've got Isco. I want to show you guys another fridge. These guys were kind enough to send it to me for a review. So without any further ado, we're going to go ahead and open this thing up and I'll show you guys what it is. It's not a battery powered one. You guys actually have to keep this one plugged in. Not like the other two that I showed you guys. So this one's just a straight plug in. It needs to stay with a power source. We'll be really quick with the unboxing so you guys can see exactly. It's a really fancy looking model. So packaged pretty well. Not too heavy but it looks like a spaceship from out of space. Really slick looking, really, really well built actually. Probably the most, the best built. Comes with, what is this? A case for it? I have no idea what this is. It's my first time opening the box, so I really don't know. Isco. Oh, okay, so you get one of these with it to keep it cool. If you want to, you know, leave it outside or inside where it's nice and cold. Hot, I mean, to keep it cool. Well, look at that. You get a nice sleeve with it. Like a little bra to put over it. Okay. That's cool. Let's look at the power. So this guy here can do, I believe either fridge or freezer, but not both. I believe that's how it works in this exact model. Let's see the power cord. It's a good size too, look inside here. Pretty big. Okay, inside the box, you get the usual. You get a cigarette lighter port and a 120 plug-in right there. Very simple. Actually the same plug-in as my other two fridges, exact same plug-in style. I think all these, all these brands, they're all, the plug is all the same. Same thing here, regular computer one, looking one. We will just plug it into a 120 volt, power it on and I'll show you guys what the display looks like on here. Before we, before we plug it in, I wanna show you guys that it has a USB connection in here to charge your phone if you want to, or charge anything else at the same time. You got your DC, you have your AC. So your regular wall plug 120, and then your cigarette lighter one right here and on this side, if it's more convenient to have the plug on this side, you can plug it in right here too. So you can do it from both sides, wherever, wherever it's more convenient. It's got really, really cool handles on here. Grippy metal, it's actually metal on these guys, both sides. Then on this side, you got a nice handle if you're going to be, you know, taking it in and out of your van or your vehicle, whatever, to go wash or to load it up before you turn it on, you go do that. And another cool part is it's got actual rubber wheels on here. So they're not plastic. They're not cheesy. They're actually rubber, nice rubber wheels, which rolls real nice and smooth, quiet. Quiet enough anyway. Iceco. Right there, that's the brand. Let's get it plugged in and I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's plugged in. So food type, it's got a little instruction for the people who's never had a fridge like this. Basically you keep your water, recommended setting 41 degrees, drinks 41, juice 46 to 50, red wine 55, fruit 41 to 60 degrees, veggies 37 to 50. Prepared food, 39 degrees, meat at zero, freezing, seafood, 27, 
quick frozen food, keep it at zero Fahrenheit. And if you guys are, you know, in the UK or Canada, there's your other side that shows that. And then it's got some troubleshooting on here too for quick fixing, like uh, low battery voltage, whatever, if you have a low battery, if you're keeping it, you know, in your vehicle. Um, motor speed, all that, if you have issues as far as the codes go, errors, then basically you just look on this side right here. It's got some answers. And when you keep it open, it tells you it's beeping right here. And it shows that the lid is actually open. It's got a really nice basket inside of here, which is actually not just metal, but it's actually covered with a little protection on it. So it's not gonna rust on you. It's got a divider, but I don't know where the divider is. It never came. A divider slot, I guess, if you wanted to divide a little bit of a space, but I'm not sure. Maybe you gotta buy that separately. Nice LED light on the inside over here. So you guys can see right there. It's got a drain plug on this side. So you just unscrew it and pull it out right there. Real easy to use. And look at the display. We'll close this. You can open both any side you want. Look at this, how fancy this is. I never had a fridge like this. Check this out. I was just on this side. Oh yeah, I grabbed what I needed to grab. Then if you're actually dividing it, you come and grab whatever you want on this side. So both sides operable. You guys see that? One more time. This side or this side. Now that's fancy right there. No wonder this thing looks like a spaceship. Check out the display. Set on the max setting right now inside of it is 75 degrees, 26.7 volt. It's plugged into the wall outlet, so there, that's, what, that's what that's about, all about. Man, this is too fancy. Look at that. Wow. Ice co. And what else this thing has on this side, we'll open this side. It's got a UV, watch, I'll open it real quick and you guys will have to look right there, right inside of here. So one, two, three, that right there, UV light just turned off. It's a sanitizing UV light, basically a UV light that will kill bacteria. It's, it runs for 30 minutes every time you open and close the lid. 30 minutes each time, so it sanitizes inside of there, kills the bacteria. Cool feature that my other fridge does not have, actually. I almost forgot, this bad boy comes with a protective cover, so things don't get beat up and things stay cooler. And if it's in direct sunlight or sunlight is beaming at it, it comes with this nice case, which is actually a pretty cool feature because if you got if you're letting this thing sit out, like if you're out camping and sun is hitting it directly, it's working a lot harder. This way, when it's in direct sunlight, it keeps it cooler. Or if it's sitting in a car and it's, you know, you got your inverter on and this thing is sitting there and it's like 200, 300 degrees in your vehicle, guess what? This thing is more protected and keeps itself cool because inside of here, It's padded, it's insulated, and you have reflective protection as well to keep the cool in and the heat out, so really nice. All in all, if you guys want one of these units, I'm gonna leave the link in the description for Iceco, and you guys can pick one up. Um, pick it up through Amazon, or you can find their site, but for now they're sold on Amazon. This is the company name, Iceco. You guys can see their other models, bigger fridges, smaller fridges. Um, they have a big variety to actually to choose from. So give them a, you know, give them a look, see, see what you guys like, because not everybody has to have what I like, which is the battery powered one. Sometimes people don't care about that and they just need it to be in their vehicle constantly. And they don't care about going out with it, you know, and, and enjoying ice cream or a cold drink somewhere, you know, at the beach or whatnot, they're just, come and go grab it. Or if you're just going camping and you need another one just to go camping or, you know, really any other indoor, outdoor activities that you're doing, you can keep this plugged in 
wherever there's power source and use it inside, outside, wherever you guys want as an extra fridge to keep things cool or frozen, whatever you guys want. So, I mean, all in all, this is, this is nice. I like the design. I like how cool it looks. It's actually one of the best, better ones out of the two as far as the design goes and how it looks and how it feels. And then the two handles, you just grab it like a cooler and you go. And the, the other cool, I think the case is actually pretty cool. I'm surprised the other two didn't have it for the price they were selling those other fridges that they never had a case like this because I think this is a nice feature to have because I just came from camping. We went camping three times already this year. And when you're out there and, this, and the sun hits it, guess what? It takes it a long, long time to keep, keep it cool when you're leaving it outside. So this is a big bonus, the cover. Give them a look-see, like-see. Look them up on Amazon. I'll leave the link right in the description, guys. Appreciate the watch time. Give me a like and a subscribe if you haven't yet. Otherwise, God bless. We'll see each other next time.